Ultimately, these engines should last to the 200 plus thousand mile mark. You really just need to be meticulous from a Hey everyone, Jake from 8020 Automotive here. Today we are talking about common problems and reliability issues with GM's 2.0 Ecotec LTG engine. The LTG variant is the turbocharged direct injected version of the 2.0 Ecotec, and it was used in a number of prominent vehicles such as the Chevy Camaro, the Cadillac ATS and CTS, and then a number of other Buick and GM models like the Equinox, the Regal, so on and so forth. The engine is a small inline four cylinder, two liter, that is turbocharged and it produces anywhere from 250 to 275 horsepower and up to 295 torque in the Camaro variant of it. These engines are known for having really strong performance and tuning potential, but there are a few key pieces from a reliability and problem standpoint that we need to be aware of. Jumping into the common problems here, one of the most common things to be aware of is timing chain stretch. These engines use a timing chain system and because of the design of them, as well as poor maintenance with oil changes or running low on oil, it is common for the timing chains to stretch over time. And you'll likely notice a kind of timing chain rattle or slapping noise coming from the system to let you know that you're starting to get a little bit of slack in the timing chain. When this starts to happen, you'll want to go ahead and replace the full timing chain and all of the components like the guides and the tensioners to prevent the timing chain from getting too loose and jumping teeth and sending all of the timing out of whack, which can lead to a number of internal related issues. This problem is predominantly caused by poor maintenance and lack of consistent or frequent oil changes, as well as excessive heat coming from the engine due to running low on oil. So you'll want to make sure that you do frequent oil changes, don't let it run low on oil oil and make sure you don't let the engine overheat. There is an upgraded timing chain kit that is good to go ahead and swap in if you do have to service the timing chain. There is an upgraded timing chain kit so if you do have to service the timing chain it's good to go ahead and use the updated one which holds up a little bit better from a reliability standpoint. Overall this is a moderate concern so long as you take good care and proper maintenance of these engines. Second on our list is carbon buildup. Because this 2.0 LTG engine is direct injected, it suffers from carbon buildup, which is basically carbon deposits that form within the intake system. And what it does is it blocks airflow going to the engine. So slowly over time, you have a kind of consistent decrease in performance because less and less air is getting into the engine. This is an extremely common phenomenon with direct injected vehicles. There really isn't any reliability downside to it. It just slowly saps performance over time. And so it is a good idea to get the intake valves cleaned via a process called walnut blasting. Overall, something to be aware of, but it is low on the concern level. Third on the list is issues with the PCV system and high oil consumption. A lot of these engines are known to consume oil at higher than normal rates. And the PCV system has a very poor design, which causes a lot of oil to get into the intake system and it causes the spark plugs to foul a lot. So one of the best things that you can do on these 2.0 LTG engines is install an oil catch can to catch all the excess oil before it gets sent into the engine fouling your spark plugs and causing a number of other issues. In addition to that, there is an upgraded PCV valve as well, and swapping out the PCV valve is a good way to prevent these issues because a lot of the problem comes from the design of the factory or OEM PCV valve to begin with. Ultimately, this is a moderate concern level. You're likely to experience some issues with the PCV system once these engines get to higher mileage. But if you swap out the PCV valve and or add an oil catch can, that will solve all the problems with this system. Fourth on our list is turbocharger failure, which is probably one of the more serious problems that we're gonna talk about here. Serious in the sense that it is expensive to fix and replace a turbocharger. Not necessarily in the sense that it does a ton of damage to the rest of the engine, but the turbocharger is known to fail. I'm not gonna call it common, but I will say it's something that happens predominantly from gunked up oil feed lines. If you have a lot of deposits in the oil feed lines, that can go ahead and cause the turbocharger to fail. And the predominant cause of that, again, is poor maintenance and lack of consistent and frequent 
oil changes. I know with all the oil life monitoring systems that these new vehicles have, and a lot of times these manufacturers are now pushing the oil change intervals from 7,500 to 12,000 plus miles. It's common to not change oil as frequently as you would have in the past. And so one of the most important things you can do is change your oil every 5,000 miles. And that is the biggest thing to prevent turbocharger failure on these LTG engines. Fifth on our list is cooling system leaks. These engines are known to develop coolant leaks around the thermostat housing, as well as all of the fittings and plastic pieces within the cooling system. If your engine overheats, these can crack and cause coolant leaks, which will drain all your coolant and ultimately lead to your engine overheating. And one of the other things we discussed was how the engine overheating can lead to those timing chain issues that we talked about. So making sure your cooling system is working well, you don't have any coolant leaks, you're topped up on coolant and you're not overheating is extremely important for the overall reliability of this engine. Ultimately, coolant leaks are a moderate concern. They're not extremely frequent on these engines, but as you get to higher mileage levels, it is common to develop a leak around that thermostat housing and some of the hoses and lines and things like that can get brittle and leak over time as well. Six on our list is gonna be spark plug failures and ignition coil failures. A lot of this comes down to the design of the PCV system and how we talked about these engines getting a lot of oil into the intake system and sending that oil into the engine where it then Owls, the spark plugs. If you take care of your PCV system at an oil catch can, that will solve the problem with the spark plugs and ignition coils failing prematurely. Overall, this isn't really a huge issue. It's just more so a maintenance item that if you don't take care of the PCV system, you're gonna have to be swapping out the ignition coils and spark plugs more frequently. That really covers it for the main problems on this engine. So overall, these engines are reliable. The most important thing is just taking care of them and maintaining maintaining them properly. I can't stress enough how important it is to do oil changes every 5,000 miles. Some of the more serious problems that we talked about here, like timing chain failure and the turbocharger, all come down to low quality or dirty oil. So making sure we do frequent oil changes is the best way to ensure reliability on these engines and to prevent yourself from having a multi-thousand dollar repair bill. Outside of that, make sure the engine doesn't overheat because that can cause a lot of issues with it as well. And make sure the PCV system and the coolant system are taken care of. Ultimately, these engines should last to the 200 plus thousand mile mark. You really just need to be meticulous from a maintenance standpoint with those oil changes, making sure you're taking care of the cooling system and addressing the oiling and PCV issues. Anyways, that wraps it up for our video on common problems and reliability issues with the 2.0 LTG Ecotech 2 engine. If you guys appreciate this video, please click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for all of our future GM videos.